Whales are among the most interesting and unique mammals on this planet. Each species can vary in shape and size, and they each have their own way of navigating the oceans and avoiding predators. Although there are around 90 species of cetacean that inhabit the world's oceans, in this video I will be focusing on the largest. There are a few ways in which you can measure how large a whale is, but I've chosen to go with maximum weight. That's because some whales are very long and slender, whereas others can be quite short and chunky. In this video I will be including both the long and the chunky whales, as I will be going through 8 of the largest whales in the world. The first whale on the list is quite long and slender, and it goes by the common name of Say Whale. This whale can be found in all of the world's oceans, and migrate annually from cool subpolar waters to temperate subtropical waters. Not only is this whale one of the largest whales in the world, but it is also one of the fastest. Its slender body helps it reach some pretty impressive speeds, as it's thought to be able to swim at up to 30 miles per hour. Because this whale is so large and fast, it has very few natural predators, with killer whales and of course us humans being the only creatures that target it. Like many other whales in the 19th and 20th centuries, this species was heavily affected by commercial whaling, and its worldwide population today is thought to be around a third of its pre-whaling population. That's why today it is listed as endangered, but luckily it is also protected. This whale is thought to be able to make it to the grand old age of 70, and at this age they can be very large, as the say whale can reach a maximum length of around 19.5 meters, and can weigh a whopping 28 tons. This size means that they're not only one of the fastest whales in the world, but they are also one of the largest. Before our next species, we can head to the Northern Pacific, as next up on the list is the grey whale. The grey whale is another whale species that's known to migrate, and it's thought that they have the longest known migration route of any mammal. In some cases, they travel from the waters of Mexico to northern Alaska, and some like to visit Hawaii. One of the most unique things about this whale is the way that it feeds. It is a baleen whale, but instead of feeding on foods in the water column, it predominantly feeds on creatures in the sediment. It will turn on its side and scoop up some sediment in its mouth, and then it will filter out the creatures from the sediment. This is of course a very strange way for a whale to feed, and this is why it's mostly found in coastal areas. This protein-rich diet helps it reach a pretty impressive size, and even though it has a relatively underwhelming length at around 15 meters long, it makes up for it by being very chunky, as it has a maximum weight of around 40 tons. This is really an impressive weight for such a relatively short whale, and is fit for number 7 on this list. Our next species is a whale that I'm sure most of you will be aware of, and to find it we can head to any ocean around the world, as the next species we will be looking at is the humpback whale. Humpback whales are very popular with whale watchers, and this is mainly due down to their breaching behaviour. This is where they launch themselves almost completely out of the water, and this is thought to be a form of communication. Not all populations of humpback whales migrate, but the ones that do migrate travel very long distances, and these distances even rival that of the grey whales. Humpback whales feed from spring to autumn, and generally feed on krill and small schooling fish. In some cases, humpback whales will even work together, and they'll target large schools of fish in a group. This has proven to be a very effective way of catching fish, and it must be incredible to witness this behaviour. As well as breaching, these whales also communicate with each other through singing, and the humpback whale's song is known for being quite complex. As well as being great singers, these whales are also very large, as they can reach a maximum length of around 17 meters, yet they still weigh around the same weight as the grey whales, at around 40 tons. This means that they are not heavier than the grey whales, but they are longer, and they're fit for number 6 on this list. Our next whale species is yet again another famous one, and it is the largest of the toothed whales. I am of course talking about the sperm whale, and these whales live a very mysterious life. If you look into the sperm whale's mouth, you'll see why it is so different from the previously featured whales. The sperm whale is not a baleen whale, and instead has long conical teeth. These teeth of course help it to catch its prey, and this prey is known for being quite formidable. The sperm whale is the third deepest diving mammal, plunging to depths of around 2,250 meters. In the depths is where they find their prey, and it usually comes in the form of giant squid. Because of their size and weaponry, they have few natural predators, although calves are sometimes picked off by killer whales, as they are not able to dive as far as the adults. But if a young sperm whale is able to make it to adulthood, it can be very large, as they can reach a maximum length of around 18 meters, and they can weigh a whopping 50 tons. 
As well as reaching this very impressive size, they also have the largest brain in the world. Yet they are still only fit for number 5 on this list. But for our next whale species, we will be heading to the Northern Atlantic, as we have the North Atlantic right whale. Now this whale is one of three species of right whale, and it is the largest of the three. This species is yet again another short and chunky whale, and it is also a very rare whale. It is currently listed as critically endangered, and there are a few reasons behind this. The single greatest danger to this species is ship strikes, as they do tend to spend a lot of time near the surface. From 1970 to 2006, 37% of all recorded North Atlantic right whale deaths were attributed to collisions. Even if they manage to avoid boats, they also get entangled in fishing nets. And of course, like many other species, they were also targeted by whalers. This species also isn't helped by the fact that they feed near the surface, as they are another baleen whale species and will feed on invertebrates such as krill and larval barnacles. Giants really are quite rare nowadays, but they're thought to be able to reach the maximum length of around 18 meters, and they can weigh a whopping 65 tons. This means that they're not only one of the rarest whales in the world, but of course they are also one of the largest, and they're fit for number 4 on this list. Our next whale species can be found all over the world, and you may notice it looks very similar to a previously featured whale. The fin whale is a close relative of the say whale, and just like this species, it is also very long and slender. It is the second longest species of cetacean on this planet, and we will be getting to the longest later on in this video. These whales have a distinct ridge along their back behind their dorsal fin, and this is what gives them the nickname of Razorback. They have also been described as the greyhounds of the sea, and this is mostly because of their long slender bodies and their impressive speed. The fin whale is another filter feeding species, and primarily targets crustaceans and squid. Some of its favourite hunting grounds are off the coast of Alaska, and they can get through a shocking amount of prey. Each gulp provides the whale with approximately 10 kilograms of food, and one whale is thought to be able to consume 1.8 tonnes of food per day. This appetite is one of the reasons why they can get so large, and the fin whale has a maximum length of around 27 meters, and can weigh in at 70 tons. Strangely, even at this size, they are not safe from orcas, yet they do fit in safely at number 3 on this list. Our next whale is found in the cooler oceans of the north, and it may be the chunkiest whale of them all. I am of course talking about the bowhead whale, and this species may be one of the longest lived mammals on the planet. Some animals that live in the cooler parts of the world have a longer lifespan, and this is usually down to their slow metabolism. This is especially the case with the bowhead whale, as they're thought to be able to live to the grand old age of 200. Unfortunately, because of whaling, these whales are nowhere near as large as they used to be. Because of their extraordinary age, they can take a very long time to reach their maximum size, and this means that most of the giant whales have been killed off. In the 1800s, this species had a much larger maximum size, but today they are a lot smaller. Its movements are influenced by the melting and freezing of ice, and bowhead whales are capable of breaking through ice at least 7 inches thick. This means that they can travel in waters that many other mammals can't, and this helps them to get at prey that other competitors can't get to. As I've said, giants are very rare nowadays, but this species is capable of reaching a maximum length of around 18 meters. But as it's a very chubby species, it can reach a maximum weight of around 80 tons. This means that it dwarfs almost all other whales, and puts it at number 2 on this list. Now I'm sure the last inclusion on this list won't be a shock to anyone, as not only is the blue whale the largest whale in the world, but it's also the largest creature that's ever lived. The blue whale is closely related to the fin whale and the say whale, and strangely it's even able to hybridise with the fin whale. These hybrids are quite rare, but the meat of these hybrids has ended up in some Japanese markets. Despite being the largest creatures that have ever lived on this planet, we still know a relatively small amount about their lives. We know little about how or where they reproduce, but we do know that they almost exclusively feed on krill. The blue whale was yet another species that was heavily affected by commercial whaling, and their population today is only a fraction of what it used to be. There are thought to be around 10 to 25,000 blue whales left on the planet, and it's thought that their pre-whaling population was around a quarter of a million. That means we're left with less than 10% of what we used to have, and just goes to show how irresponsible whaling was. The blue whale gives birth to the largest young on the planet, and when fully grown they can weigh as much as 30 elephants. They dwarf all other creatures on this planet, with a maximum length of around 30 meters, and a max weight of around 175 tons. The blue whale is currently the largest creature to have ever lived, and I think it will stay that way for hundreds of millions of years to come. 
If you think you know of any other interesting whales, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.